Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is Bucket Ponds. My name is Terry. Uh, today we are looking at our first tadpoles. That's right. Uh, first time we have tadpoles in our nanoponds, and there are a lot of them. Uh, we're also looking at some of the plants and some of my other projects out there. So uh, <laughs> if you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, I was out here about to do some gardening, and uh, I just happened to notice something. Uh, check it out. Fire on the mountain. Uh, that's right, it survived. I brought this plant home a while back, and I threw it into a pot full of pine needles. And uh, I thought it all died out, but I guess we had enough of a tissue sample to get a good plant going. Uh, you can see it has these really cool, like, orange accents on the leaves, and uh, some of them are pretty bright. I don't know much about this plant, but I like the way it looks, and I wanted to have some nearby just to uh, examine. Now uh, here we have a uh, glass door from a washing machine along with a large tire that's been turned inside out. Uh, you may remember that I made this into a frog pond a while back and I thought the project failed. Uh, but surprise, surprise, we have tadpoles inside. We have a lot of tadpoles in this, uh, this washing machine glass door here. Uh, this is a DIY pond uh, that I put together using some like junkyard materials, but uh, the tadpoles don't mind. They're very happy here, and uh, that makes my day. I'm excited to see them like accepting this weird little pond, and uh, there are just so many of them. They look healthy, and it makes me really happy. My first uh, tadpoles in these nanoponds. Now, I'm sure that we've had more tadpoles before this, but I haven't been able to document them. I captured one or two on accident a while back and released them out here. Uh, off screen, we've seen those frogs grow up, and now they live in here. They've taken to this uh, former terrarium that I've just left outside and left open. Uh, they brought the duckweed over. Um, frogs will occasionally bring duckweed with them, especially if you have other ponds nearby. And they probably jumped out of one of my buckets and jumped into here and spread the duckweed and the pondweed. That's pretty cool. I'm trying to get a video of the frogs, but they're kind of elusive. Uh, here's an update of the fridge pond. We have the uh, elephant ears after they were transplanted. They're doing really well. And uh, you can see the large one is pretty much uh, back to where it was before I brought it over here. Uh, you can see them being transplanted in a previous video. Uh, but here's the refrigerator pond. This is an old recycled refrigerator that I've uh, laid on its back and put a plastic lighter inside. And here we have a bucket. Uh, I've been using this to raise mosquito larvae and then uh, dumping it back into the refrigerator pond. Uh, sort of like a food source for the mosquito fish that are in the pond. Uh, but it turns out frogs have moved into that bucket, and uh, I still can't get a video of them. They dive as soon as I come up close, but they're in here, and that's pretty cool. Uh, now the uh, refrigerator pond, it is uh, overstocked with mosquito fish at this point. They're doing really well in there, and uh, I think we ought to go ahead and catch some. So here's a couple fry. Uh, I just dunked my little container in there and caught them pretty easily. Uh, they're small at this age. They're pretty much eyeballs and tails, <laughs> uh, but they're a lot like guppies, and these are eastern mosquito fish, uh, wild caught from a nearby source, and uh, they've been breeding out here in my refrigerator pond. I'm going to add a couple to the freezer section here because I never actually put any fish in there, and I don't want to uh, have a mosquito problem out here. I want to have some kind of control method, so we're just going to add a couple fry right there, and nothing fancy, just kind of gently dump them in there. Yeah, that'll help them out a little bit, and they'll have plenty of room to grow and reproduce. Uh, we might actually catch another one, maybe two, uh, just to make sure we uh, get a good chance of getting a female in there and hopefully starting a new family in that freezer section. So uh, I'm going to show you my super secret uh, mosquito fish catching technique. It's called be really quiet and be really still. And uh, this is how I originally caught um, the parents of this, these fish here. I uh, put a bucket in a pond, and I just sat there and waited for a while. 
Uh, they're a lot like guppies, and guppies are very curious. So you don't have to chase them around with a net or anything. You can just uh, put a, a container in the water, and they'll come up to check it out sooner or later. On the chance that there might be food or something new inside, they are very curious, and uh, that's a great way to catch them. So we're just going to wait here for another second, and uh, there's one. And we caught him. Yeah. See, we didn't hurt him at all. We didn't stress him out or chase him around a tank with a net. Uh, we just scooped him up. And he's very active, very healthy, and that makes me very happy. My uh, refrigerator pond is a uh, working fridge pond, or uh, a working fish pond. And we're just going to add him there. Now, this is another surprise. Um, this is an old flower vase that I threw some plants in and brought outside. Uh, I never intended on filming this, and I kind of just ignored the project completely. You can tell by the wilted leaves, but check it out. There are more tadpoles in here. Now, I didn't put the tadpoles in this this face here. They just appeared. Uh, some frogs must have gotten in there and laid eggs. Um, out of all my projects, I don't know why they would choose this flower face, but uh, that's what happened. <laughs> and You can see the uh, tadpoles down in there right now. There's quite a few, and uh, I'm glad I came out and found them because this flower vase was starting to dry out, so I had to refill it with some water. Uh, but yeah, tadpoles in a flower vase, of all places. Uh, now, I waited and tried for a long time to get frogs to come out to my projects, and uh, they've been nearby, but we haven't seen so many tadpoles like this before. And uh, I'm excited to learn more about these guys. I would like to catch some and bring them indoors and watch them develop into frogs. Uh, but I'm skeptical of my ability to raise um, baby frogs. I've heard that it can be difficult and uh, without the proper food items and uh, the proper experience, you know, I don't want to kill them. So for now, I'm going to leave the flower vase right here. And uh, they should be mostly safe and shouldn't get too hot. Uh, you can see a few of my other projects here, more elephant ears, lilies, and uh, banana plants. Doing really well. All right, well, that's it, guys. Uh, we took a look at the outdoor aquariums, and I showed you our first tadpoles. So that's a pretty big deal for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked it, please like and subscribe. Um, there's a lot more uh, content on my channel. Just go to Bucket Ponds uh, right there. And uh, you can find me other places online as well. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you soon.